Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where we have some stability issues as we would expect with the amount of expansion that we've done recently. So we're definitely going to work our way through that. Also there's this cute event here. What's going on here? Oh, we just gained three free stability. Cool. We will definitely take that. We are of course moving our troops around a little bit to try to get to their port positions with their transport fleets. The real question becomes, when are these guys going to rebel? It's going to be a while, or maybe not even a while, but a little bit. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit yet, so that's fine. We can build up our manpower. I like that. Our treasury is doing well at this moment. I want to check in on how we're doing on our research. Yes, 113.41 is nice. We need a new court philosopher here, and we'll put in this gentleman. He is the most qualified. Wonderful. Our diplomacy with Egypt is progressing. We are, of course, attempting to make some sort of friends with them to maybe leverage them against the Seleucid Empire. Probably not against the Western Roman dictatorship. I think that's pretty unlikely. But uh, Western Roman dictatorship has a lot of things to think about right now. And specifically, we could gain some political influence here. I think we'll just do a token inquiry. Specifically, they have a lot of things to clean up over in this region over here. Uh-huh. They have a claimant now. So we can support pretenders. None of the power base is currently disloyal. This will give them a CB on us. And, yeah, we could do this. This will give them a CB on us, but they already have a CB on us. So that'll be fine. And, yeah, uh, they are not happy at us for supporting their rebels. But uh, they'll get over that in 50 months. They'll also get over the recently declared war eventually, but uh, not for a bit. We have Olbia on our side as well. We need to remember that. So they are our client state. So that'll be fine. Now, I would like to continue to build libraries. Do we have any good ones? Eh, we have an okay one. It's not fantastic, but it's fine. I would consider our research efficiency to largely be in the fine category. I would also consider our treasury to largely be in the fine category. So we might want to think about working on our manpower income. Another thing that we could think about doing is upgrading our cities to metropolises. We do need 80 population to make that happen. And in most of these cities, our pop cap doesn't go up to 80 currently. I'm not sure if we have any cities with a pop cap of 80. So we would need to build, like, a number of aqueducts and wait for population growth. That's not really a current thing to do, I think. What we could certainly think about doing is building training camps. Those aren't very good. Not right now, anyway. We would need to build not court of laws, but forums to make that happen. And we could put that into some of these locations over here. So, I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and build a couple of forums over there. Excellent. Now, we are going to have province disloyalties, and I don't want to spark any wars right now. Sequania is definitely our next target, but I do not want to attack them at this moment. We do need to figure out what we're going to spend political influence on. I'm reasonably content with our number of cities. Especially as we start going up into metropolises. Ah. The polypersians are being jerks. Okay. So, this guy is the jerk in question. We could bring him to trial, but there's only an 18% success chance there. Alternatively, we could make him our rival and work on assassinating him. And so we shall. 
Excellent. Now, who is he? He's the governor of Colchis. Okay. Sounds good. So this guy's probably going to try to make a civil war. He's very rude. Very, very rude indeed. Okay, so we are working on targeting him. We have a success chance of 60%. Hmm. Unintegrated culture happiness minus 4%. Integrated culture happiness plus 5%. That's military service. Is that a law? Uh, let's see. Where are our laws at? Government laws. There we go. Yes. That would revoke our ability to have a legion. We are not doing that. Hmm. This is blackmail. I'm going to tell him no. We're going to spend our gold currently, or not our gold, we're going to spend our political influence at this moment on some divine sacrifices. I'm going to do two of them. That'll start boosting our stability back up. Now, we have a civil war brewing because this guy's a jerk. We're going to bribe him. And that makes it go away for now. I do not want a civil war because I have a feeling that if we get embroiled in a civil war right now, Either the Seleucid Empire or the Western Roman Dictatorship will come after us. I know I would in that scenario. So I have to assume that they're going to. Now, we do have those forums finished up. So let's take a look at what additional training camps would end up looking like. For now, not very good. Okay, just checking. Libraries are also not a great investment at this moment. Not a great investment indeed. Now, foundries are probably something that we should get pretty soon. In order to do that, we need to get blacksmith apprentices. So we would need two innovations to get that. And I think overall that's okay. We're going to get one in 1616 and one in 1615. And another one in 1613. So overall, oh yeah, that's because this guy is terrible at this job. Can we put in a better person? Actually, yes. Polypershid is scorned. He's only one skill less. So we'll put him in there. And 80, huh? Okay. Well, he's better. He's not amazing, but he's better. This guy's amazing. He's very good at this job. So we're definitely going to be able to get forges pretty soon. Or, or rather, that's foundries. Hang on. Was I looking at the wrong building? Did I conflate the two? I probably did. Foundries. Yes. So we can get foundries pretty soon. And that's going to be a very good investment for us, I think. So let's just bank up a little bit of treasury for that. I mean, it is several years out. But they are pretty expensive, and we're making 28 per month right now. I think that we should just bank cash for the moment. Now, I, I want this guy to move over here. He must have moved while he was disloyal. But right now, this guy is a total jerk. Uh, not this guy. I wanted this guy. Our assassination is not going to be done for a while yet. Now, we are near death, and we're going to have a, a successor here pretty soon. I do want to take a look at what our succession actually is going to look like. Uh, where do I see that again? I can never remember which tab these are in. This one. There we go. So, our current successor is this gentleman. I'd rather have this guy. Our legitimacy isn't high enough. We have not enacted the Divinity Statute Law, and we also haven't enacted the Law. I'm not sure which law this is referring to, but the Law. Okay, so uh, Divinity... Doo -doo -doo, where is that? I don't see it in here. 
Oh, here it is. Okay, so we would need zeal greater or equal to 10. We would need popularity of 90 and legitimacy equal to 90 as well. That's pretty good. And that would give us the minus 20% aggression, aggressive expansion impact and plus 0.25 monthly ruler popularity gain. That is quite good. We're lacking both the, the popularity and the legitimacy. This might end up having to be a next life sort of thing. So we'll have to just proceed here and we will dislodge those pirates by force if necessary. Excellent. Okay, sounds good. So we're definitely having some issues with our loyalty. We knew this would be the case right now, and this is why we're chilling. Now we are approaching our maximum manpower, and that is definitely a bit of a concern. I definitely want to be able to build foundries. Absolutely. More technology. 10% <laughs> heavy cavalry discipline is actually pretty huge too. So getting both of these would be amazing. We've still got a number of things to do over here as well. We've got these five. So we're going to have a ways to go in our martial advances before we have everything we want. We're pretending that this tree doesn't exist. That, that's, that's boat things. We don't like boat things. Boat things are the worst. <laughs> we have barbarians raiding us. They're raiding us up here. They've been doing this. A bunch of jerks. We're at our pop cap up here. Uh, how are we doing with our integration? Okay. So we definitely need to work on integrating up here. I mean, we do have some religious conversion going on. And Zoroastrian has spread very nicely. So overall, not bad. Not bad at all. Culturally, we've got some work to do. But right now, we're more focused on getting the religion spread because that makes converting the cultures much, much easier. Now, to that end, we probably should look... Ooh. 85% religious advances progress? But it's a corrupt researcher, giving us minus 35% research points. I'm not going to do it. I feel like that's a trap. Okay, so I wanted to look at the provinces and the integrated pops here. So, locations like this one, where they are majority religious, but not integrated, we want to switch this to cultural assimilation. This one as well. Cultural assimilation here. And then this one would also be a good target for cultural assimilation now. As with this... As would this one. And actually this one as well. And this one. And this one. A lot of these actually would be. Uh, we can't do this because we lack the political influence now. So that's fine. We managed to spend down our political influence. That's great. This jerk is an absolute jerk. And we will have him assassinated, hopefully, fairly soon. So that's okay. These guys are, of course, being annoying. They'll get over it, I hope. Well, actually, we do need to send a unit up there to deal with it. Because this is not going to auto-cap back since they actually attacked the city. Barbarians usually don't attack the city, but these did. Interesting. So, I mean, we're going to have a rebellion in 60 months. That's five years out. I mean, it's not a huge deal. These barbs are going to go away pretty soon. We're probably just going to chill up here and auto-cap this back. That'll be fine. Crossing these passes still takes a little while. And I would like to definitely get some of these guys integrated. That would be very nice indeed. So now that we're starting to turn towards converting some cultures instead of just religion, this is going to definitely help our integration quite a lot. Let's see, the Atlas map mode? Yes. Okay, so this is showing the existing roads. Gotcha. There's no road connection here. This is actually pretty handy. Yeah, 
I didn't realize that this showed the roads this way, but that's actually a pretty handy little visual aid to visualize your roads. I like it. That's neat. I thought that it was showing something else, like, I don't know, trade routes or something, but no, absolutely not. Uh, we could lose popularity. I would rather not. We'll have him flogged. Cool. So these guys should come back to their station point. We are capped or very close to capped on our manpower now, and that's definitely something to think about. We do require maybe some training camps. No, not yet. Okay. We do need to wait for our men at, or not, why was I talking men at arms? <laughs> I've been playing too much Crusader Kings, clearly. We do need to wait for our pops to switch around. And this is okay. We did die. That's fine. Sadly, we did not get this guy dealt with. We're going to do this again. We're going to work on assassinating him. We do need to let our aggressive expansion and tyranny drop. We need a new master of the guard, and it will be... This is scorned, so we'll do this guy. Now, we are going to need to deal with... This guy. He has to be dealt with. 21 months on the Civil War right now. We're going to bribe him. We're going to give him free hands. This is all to boost his corruption. So that we can bring him to trial, hopefully, eventually. We're also potentially going to smear his reputation. Okay. So he's at 23 loyalty right now. We could give him a cognomen that doesn't help his loyalty. Giving him holdings would. But I don't want to. <laughs> I would rather not. We may try to bring him to trial right before the Civil War breaks out. Uh, morale of armies, huh? Or morale of navies. Obviously, we're going to go for morale of armies. Mediation, huh? 668 becomes friends. Do we care about either of these? Probably not. We're just going to take the popularity, I think. Cool. We just supported a war against the Western Roman dictatorship. Okay, this is awkward timing. <laughs> this is very awkward timing. Who are they actually at war against? Oh, that is teeny tiny. Okay. And the war goal is for this province. There's no way we can get there. There's a Roman cohort over here. Okay. I kind of don't want to be in this war. I'll be honest. We did support the rebels, though. So. I didn't expect it to actually happen. <laughs> this is not likely to go super well. We could come attack over here. Maybe take this territory, push them back this way. I wonder if their navy is going to come out. I guess we'll find out. So we're going to need to embark these guys and send them on over. We lack access. Do we have to take a day? We lack access. Or do we have to go like this and then select the army and then land invade, perhaps? That's something that you have to do in Lake Europa. It's a possibility, I suppose. So we'll see what happens here. This looming civil war is the bigger issue. I would be more into this if we didn't have this absolute jerk here. 
Hmm. And that assassination is so far away. The death of our previous ruler was poorly timed. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Very poorly timed. Okay, so we're going to come on in over here. We'll just see how this goes. So they have some conscripts here. That's fine. We're going to embark these guys as well. And they are also going to come over this way. And then we're going to move our fleets to try to blockade this. We'll see if we can succeed. Now, Rome is going to get ticking war score over here. I'm 100% certain of this. There's not really a good way that we can control this territory. I suppose we could hire these mercs. Like, hire a couple of units of mercs here. So these guys would be black flagged. Would they get unblack flagged if we walked here? Let's find out. If they do, we might hire these mercs as well. I don't expect that hiring these mercs is going to allow us to hold this. Is the thing. They do get unblack flagged. Okay. So we're going to hire these guys, and we're going to head on in over this way. That actually gave us enough power that this guy can no longer do his civil war. So that's good. We're going to move in over here. And these guys are still on their way. We're going to have these triremes come over here to try to blockade this. Now, I don't expect that we can hold this against the Roman fleet if they really try. But we're going to go in here. That's the Seleucid Empire there. And we're just going to drop these guys off here. Now, how are things going over here? They're minus 35. We are regaining morale over here. But I do expect that these mercs will be unsuccessful in holding that territory. Fully. I fully expect this. These guys are going to come in over here. We actually finished the siege already. That was fairly quick. Okay. Well, let's go take Byzantium. This is obviously not going to go well for our allies over here. Obia is just chilling in our territory, although they did occupy this up here. Hilarious. Now, we do need to get these mercs in over here. And these guys are going to want to push up to here, it looks like. I mean, I don't really expect that this war is going to go great. But you never know. Maybe Rome's going to totally bungle it. We should consider going to high army maintenance at this time. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll see what happens on the month tick. We're still positive. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. This isn't really what I wanted to see. Stop moving. 31,000, huh? We're going to back off. Force them to cross this straight into us. What's their morale at? 4.32. So we have quite a lot higher morale. Out of curiosity, what does the game think about this? Very likely that we win. They're a skill 2 commander. They have a slightly stronger army. Terrain is to their benefit. But it's going to be auto-capped soon. 13 August, 5 days. They stopped it from auto-capping. We're, we're going to take this fight. And it's mostly because they have a skill 2 commander. This fight is actually huge, for the record.
Numbers are now in our favor. And there we go. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, this is going to be a lot more spicy. I doubt we win that. I really, really do. Our morale here is not amazing. But maybe we can make our way over this way, like this. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I'll see you all next time. Where are we going to send these guys? This way, I guess? Sure. <laughs> see you all next time.